Now, look into the next question. This is a generic one. Question number 131. Pe Pehalal has obtained registration in the current financial year in Uttar Pradesh. His turnover in the preceding financial year was 19,90,000. He has received the following amounts in respect of activities undertaken by him in the month of September. Funeral service, funeral, burial, crematorium, mortuary, including transportation of the deceased is excluded from supply. Okay, so death related activities excluded from supply. So it is not a supply, not a supply. Then services by way of warehousing of jaggery. Jaggery is not an agricultural produce, but there are some goods. Its warehousing will be exempted even though it is not agricultural produce. Warehousing of agricultural produce is anyhow exempted. But there are some goods, even though not an agricultural produce, but its warehousing is exempted. So what are they? So that is cereals and pulses. Then next we have, you know, nuts and spices. Then jaggery, coffee and tea, raw vegetable fibers such as cotton, flax, jute, unmanufactured tobacco. And then we have minor forest produce. These are some goods which are not agricultural produce, but its storage will be exempted. Cereals and pulses, nuts and spices, then jaggery, raw vegetable fibers such as cotton, flax, jute, etc. And tea and coffee, then we have unmanufactured tobacco and then minor forest produce. Minor forest produce means some herbs, etc. Raw honey, which is available in the forest. So that is minor forest produce, not an agricultural produce. But these seven goods, even though not agricultural produce, its storage is exempted. Okay. Therefore, this 50,000 will become exemption. Electrically operated bus given on hire to a municipal corporation, exempted. So, in case of renting of motor vehicles, we have four exemptions. Number one, I have a motor vehicle having a capacity to carry more than 12 passengers given on hire to a state road transport undertaking, exempted. Number two, I have an electric vehicle. That electric vehicle having a capacity more than 12 passengers given on hire to a local authority exempted. I have a motor vehicle that can carry goods, lorry, truck, etc. given on rent to a GTA exempted. Then I have a motor vehicle so that I am giving on rent to a person who is providing transportation services to education institution providing education up to 12th standard okay so then that rent received will be exempted these are the four cases in this electric motor vehicle given on rent to a local authority and bus definitely capacity more than 12 passengers therefore it is exempted then services provided to recognize sports body as commentator so only five people providing service to recognize the sports body is exempted number one player referee umpire coach team manager these five people providing services to recognize the sports body in relation to an event organized by them is only exempted but commentator pitch curator technical experts selectors other people providing services to recognize sports body is not exempted that will be taxable then commission received as an insurance agent from insurance company so actually it is like in here who will pay GST commentator FCM, okay. Whereas in this case 65,000 it is taxable under RCM. Means it will not be coming in the hands of Pehalal. It will be coming in the hands of the insurance company. So in case of insurance agent providing service to the insurance company, liability to pay GST is on insurance company only. Na? Then commission received as business facilitator. So business facilitator service RCM but Business facilitator providing services to banking company in rural area is exempted. Actually, this is exempted. So, business facilitator providing services to a banking company in rural area is exempted. But here it is rural area or urban area. That is urban area, which means it will be taxable under RCM. Then who will pay GST? That banking company will pay GST. It will not be taxable in the hands of Pehalal. Then... Security services provided to Damodar Engineering College. Security and housekeeping services only to category 1 is exempted. But category 2 will be taxable. Okay. 
security services provided to Damodar Engineering College registered under GST for the security of the college premises. So this will be taxable or exempted. So this is actually a taxable because college category 2 and who will pay GST first. So security agency service supplier should be other than body corporate to come under RCM. Yes. So service provider is other than body corporate and recipient should be registered. So is recipient registered under GST? Yes. So it will come under RCM. Again, it will not be taxable in the hands of Pehalal. It will be taxable under RCM in the hands of recipient. Further, he has received the following services in the month of September. Freight paid to unregistered GTA. Unregistered GTA. Definitely FCM option not opted. So this Pehalal is only required to pay GST under RCM. So this is invert supply. Taxable under RCM. So it will be taxable in the hands of Pehalal at what rate? At 5%. Okay. Then... Legal advice received from Messrs. Kanun Associates. See, services provided by an individual advocate or firm of advocate to a business entity whose turnover during the previous year does not exceed threshold limit exempted. But here if you see their turnover during the previous year, the turnover during the previous year does not exceed threshold limit. As their turnover during the previous year does not exceed threshold limit, so this will be exempted. So, in the absence of information, I told you the threshold limit for registration is 20 lakhs. So, therefore, it will become exempted. So, this freight paid under GTA alone will be taxable. Okay. So, now what we need to take? 2 lakhs will be taxable under FCM. Then, next, uh, so this 8 lakh 80,000 will be, one second, actually, this is not 8 lakh 80,000. So, this is 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh taxable at the 1 lakh. So therefore, 1 lakh 5 percent. So that will be 2.5, 2.5. So that is this answer. Okay. So net GST payable 20,500 and 20,500. This is with respect to this. Okay. Hope you understood this year. So this is like combination of all the exemptions and RCM in a single question. This type of questions also can be asked. Okay. So then not just one sector all the exemptions you should know plus at the same time rcm fcm also you need to know so like this also questions can be coined